Van life is over. We crashed our van. <laughs> we got the knock. When van life goes wrong. We stayed at a dog inside. Van lifers are not welcome here. So, hands up, who has seen those YouTube titles? Yeah, I'm sure you've all seen them. And now, put your hands up if you actually believe that they're genuine or if you believe that they were completely scripted or planned from the very beginning. And that's the thing that we're finding with YouTube, especially the van life niche. It's all very much doom and gloom, isn't it? Yeah. We blew up our van, we crashed our van, we stayed at a dog inside. Scandals get views, but S it's a sad case, isn't it? It's a sad case. Um, it's rather frustrating. But what it's led to us thinking, it's led to us thinking, actually, it's probably a niche that we don't necessarily want to be too much of a part of. So... I'll be honest, hands up, when I'm doing a title, I'll say to Claire, oh, what should we put for this video, right? And if we don't have an answer, we always put van life. So it's always van life this or van life that, van life journey, end of the road. Oh my goodness, that's one. To be fair, we have used that before, um, but we did come to the end of the road. It was the Isle of Wight and we got to the ferry. Um, but obviously, we don't really want to go down that route anymore and we want to change the channel and we want to change the direction of the channel don't we but if, i think if we have used titles like that we've cleared things up straight away yeah yeah not let you hang on and hang on to find out what the actual thing is yeah absolutely so we, and we've done it a bit tongue-in-cheek haven't we yeah we've yeah absolutely and to be fair i said in the title of this one van life's a lie i'm telling you now why van life's a lie and using examples it's funny though because you've got YouTube which focuses on all the negative and then you've got Instagram's the complete opposite, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, glamorised, everything. Glamorised, topless perfect. women, thong bikinis. <laughs> all right, they don't, they don't allow nudity, but some of those bikinis that some of the girls wear in camper vans might as well be naked, mightn't they? Um, and again, it's not true to life. Mm. I'm trying desperately to get Claire to wear a bikini on our <laughs> channel. She won't do it. So it's not true to life. So anyway, yeah, van life, whether it be on Instagram and it be glamorised, or whether it be on YouTube and it be like a Drama soap opera and dramatised, and dramatised yeah. it's all a load of nonsense. You never get the real van life. So yeah, like I said, we want to move away from that. We want to move away from using van life in the titles. What you might have seen recently is I'll put a couple of polls out there asking what sort of content you guys would like. And the top two... Well, the top one, Claire's going to absolutely love because that's dog stuff, isn't it? Yeah, dog-friendly stuff. So come out and they said, um, you want to see more dog-friendly places. So we're going to take you to tourist attractions. We're going to take you to all the places where you'll see dogs. And then secondly, and this was a bit of a late, uh, a late upcomer because it was one of the it was one of the lower ranked ones to begin with but that's pub stops believe it or not so yeah i think for us we're going to move the channel more towards activities you can do and also places where you can stay like pubs mm. where you can actually give something back mm. we don't want to combine the two dog friendly pub stops yeah yeah exactly so i'm up for that we're going to stop going down the park up route and the freebies and the scrounging you know we're going to stay places where we pay and we give something back to the economy so that's kind of the direction of the channel that's what you guys asked for so the other thing i want to cover as well you might have noticed by the title that i've also called youtube out as being fake and yeah, YouTube's completely fake. So when you go on and when you look at stats and things like that, don't believe a word that you see, because we've tried bloody hard, sorry, excuse the language, with our channel. And we have, we've really tried hard for every single subscriber that we've got. Whereas we know that there's so many other methods out there and there's so many methods that people use quite easily. So therefore, when I look at our views, sometimes I think, oh my gosh, we only got 600 views on that video versus someone else. But what I need to keep telling myself is actually, we've not paid for any of that. And this brings me on to my next little rant. So, with YouTube, 
it is so easy to either pay for views, pay for subscribers, or the other one that people do do is you can pay for watch hours because then that convinces the YouTube algorithm that your channel's much more popular than it isn't. Mm. So when and you push it to more people, which then snowballs. Yeah. But yeah. Now we have got. Mm quite a few friends in the YouTube industry and I would say that there are channels out there that I look at and I go they're growing faster than us and the reason they're growing faster than us is because they're fantastic channels and I'm not saying I'm the best editor out there so I'm not saying that I will have the best channel and the best growth that's not going to happen but when I see channels out there that don't do a lot of editing and one day they've got a thousand subscribers and six weeks later, they've got, I don't know, 12,000 subscribers. Come on, guys, look at it and see. It's not real. It's not genuine. And I don't know how people can even feel proud of that. The reason why people do it, and I'm going to be open and transparent with you because that's what the channel is about. So people will do it because the bigger the channel, the more brand deals they get, the more brand deals they get, the more money they get, the more stuff they can sell. So what they will do is they'll fudge the system They'll pay for either subscribers, they'll pay for views, or they'll pay for watch time in order to kickstart YouTube into thinking that they are a popular channel. Now, it does pay off because what will happen is YouTube will then push it to more people. Yeah. And once it's pushed it to more people, get, they, they get will get genuine. Yeah, and they'll get people that do enjoy the channel, but it's yeah. just a bit of a, a cheating way to do it. So, so you'll see comments on their channel, and they are genuine com comments, but... The way that they've got there and the way that it's been pushed out to those people, it's not really legitimate. I mean, even YouTube itself, you can pay to boost your video. So you put a video up and you pay so much for YouTube to advertise it as an advert to more people. So just to let you know, we've never ever done that. We've never ever considered that. And all of our views and everything we've got is genuine. And we appreciate every single one of them. Yeah. Anyway, rant over... So, a couple of things to cover with you guys. Um, you might have seen uh, in our last video, we did some pottery, didn't we? We did. We went and picked it up yesterday. Mm -hmm. Claire's only seen a little bit of it because she was in the doorway with the dogs when mm -hmm. I went inside and picked it up. And then they wrapped it up. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to drop some footage of us unwrapping that in here. Mm -hmm. and... I don't want to unwrap it till we get home, so I want to make sure it gets home. Yeah. Like comfortly in one piece but you can uh, see but we'll wrap it, unwrap it later. and we did oh, I've got to go back on something here so when we did the pottery I said mine would be the best I'll be honest I, I do give you credit and I, Claire's was more in the lines I think and mine's a little bit blurry but I called it I predicted that yeah but it's a camper van mine's quite nice so yeah well yours is nice lovely vase <laughs> but yeah so we'll unwrap it we'll show you that it was fun to doing it wasn't it together. yeah that's the main thing one camper van yeah i don't think you give it enough coats is that what it was yeah you got you got you can see your brush strokes yeah. hoping mine's a bit better <laughs> that <laughs> good um but just on to the new channel and the new look of the channel and doing the whole pub stops and focusing on them and dog friendly stuff so right now we are sitting outside a pub stop we'll show you some footage of where we stayed last night in a minute and also next week we're gonna have a treat for you or our next video, it might not be weekly, but we're going to have a dog-friendly video of all the dog-friendly places that we went to in Shropshire. Right on cue, Lily starts crying. Yeah, speaking of dog-friendly, <laughs> Lily's not very dog-friendly. The dogs just walked past the van, she started growling. I don't know if the microphone picked that up. Um, but yeah, let's show you the pub that we stayed at last night first off. The Cross Keys at Upward is situated equidistant from Ramsey and Huntingdon. Ideal if you like a Tesco actually. Come on girls, you can come with us, it's dog friendly. They've got a large beer garden. Tessie, you can't escape, there's a gate. 
the bar area is very dog friendly as the landlord puts it and the dogs were even allowed in the snug which was lovely and cosy. Tessie wanted a pint and this pub had that covered. For dinner I didn't actually have a burger, I had lemon pepper chicken. Claire predictably had a burger. And Tessie seemed more interested in my ice cream for pudding than anything else. So we hope you enjoyed that pub stop. Yeah, we are now back in our garden and let me just say that's another thing that the Instagram girl with the fun bikini and her boobs out doesn't tell you about is that when you do van life uh, your garden suffers as well. Now last year we was away near enough every weekend weren't we? Mm. Um, and, and it was fun but yeah, yeah the garden suffered a big time. I only mowed the lawn twice last year. Now we did have a dry spell where it didn't really grow but yeah it proper suffered. We had ivy all over the fence, didn't we? It was like a jungle. Horrible. So, I try and put some before and after photos in. We're still midway through. We've still got a lot more to do in the garden. But yeah, that's another thing that Van Life Instagram does not show you. <laughs> It might just be us. It might just be us. Well, <laughs> maybe other people find time. Well, know. yeah, most of the people that are on Instagram doing van life live in their van full well, that's time. True. They ain't got a garden. And they ain't even got a house, have they? Yeah. So, uh, anyway, I think we'll call it a day there. Yes. Hopefully, you enjoyed this vlog, and uh, we will see you next week. Now, next week, um, that's when we're going to do our dog friendly video. So, yeah, catch that one next time. Dude, it was done.